What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how you can back up your NVIDIA settings on Windows. By default, when you open up the NVIDIA control panel window, there's no way of exporting your settings in here, for which you may have tons under manage 3D settings, program settings. You can customize practically any program on your system to make it perform better, cap the frames, etc. There's a million reasons why you'd make changes in the NVIDIA control panel. And when you update Windows, do a DDU to clean, reinstall your graphics driver. If you ever want to back up your NVIDIA control panel settings, there's not a way to do this by default. Instead, you'll need a third party program and I'll show you exactly how to do that here. Now, in the description down below, you'll find a link to the NVIDIA profile inspector. All you need to do is head across to releases on the far right and click the latest version here. Now, can you trust this program? Well, it's open source, been running for many years, has tons of stars and tons of people have looked over it. There's a huge amount of effort that's gone into this open source project and it's super powerful for controlling your graphics card driver even more in depth than the NVIDIA control panel allows. On the download page here, simply expand assets if it's not ready and choose the NVIDIA profile inspector.zip. When the file downloads, simply open it up and you'll find a bunch of things inside of it. I'll be placing all of these on my desktop, for example, but you could place them inside of a folder. In fact, I'll do that anyway. Okay, so in the folder here, we have the main EXE NVIDIA profile inspector. Simply open this file, choose yes when prompted to run it as admin, and in here you'll see a huge amount of options. But just keep in mind, this is only the base profile, as in this applies to everything that you haven't customized. If we choose the drop down here, you'll see a ton of different programs, games, etc. And all of these are the ones that you can customize in the NVIDIA program. It's just that here, there's tons more flexibility and control over your system. If you'd like to back up all of your settings for all of your games and the default settings, look for this little icon up here, the upload slash export icon, click the drop down just next to it, and we'll be choosing export all customized profiles. When you do this, it'll quickly run through everything and show you what you've customized, so it won't export tens of thousands of things. What we'll do is we'll choose select all in the bottom left, and then choose export. You can of course customize it as you see fit, then we'll be saving it as a .nip file. I'll place it in the same folder that I have the program in, and I'll call it all profiles. When we choose save and see this pop up, you can choose no unless you want to export more things. Now you can close out the program and make sure that you have your all profiles.nip or whatever you called it backed up. This is the most important part. If you're going to be reinstalling your graphics driver with a DDU for a clean install, update windows, etc., this is the file that you need to keep. You can always re download the NVIDIA profile inspector, but you can't create this out of thin air. Then, when you've reinstalled your graphics drivers, cleared your settings, upgraded windows, anything like that, open up the NVIDIA profile inspector vector and to import your settings, simply choose the download or down arrow here, click the drop down next to it and choose import profiles. Then we'll choose our file, choose open, and just like that, everything will be saved and replaced. All we need to do now is hit apply changes in the top right and we're done here. That's it. We've now successfully backed up all of our custom profiles, including the default one for the NVIDIA driver and all of the games that you've customized. It's that simple. This program is super powerful, even more so than the NVIDIA control panel. From here, you can delete it or keep it somewhere separate if you'd ever like to play around with it. But that's really it for this quick guide. So thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.